Debbie Wilkes backstage with Patrick Chan, the 2010 champion of Skate Canada International. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> and considering, I know you were so disappointed with the short program last night, the quad was elusive, but wow, did you nail it today. Yeah, it, it, was, it just felt like how I do in practice in Colorado. And um, I just thought about what I usually do and when I'm in Colorado with Christy. And I think what I did in the short program was maybe overanalyze it and Today I just went out and just put it down on the line and, uh, and it rewarded me. And I noticed too that, I mean, I think you, you really had to work through the program. There were a, a couple of errors that you, I know you don't want to uh, repeat. Mm -hmm. And yet you stayed so focused on the delivery of the dramatic side of the performance. It's something I've been working on a lot with a, a dance teacher called Kathy Johnson in Colorado and she works with Jeremy Abbott a lot and uh, we've been working on the connection with the judges and the flow of the movements and how to use my core a little more so it, it was a very important part of the program that I wa really wanted to achieve here today so I was able to do it and uh, saved a couple jumps. It was a tough fight but I was able to fight it and uh, it's all thanks to the, to the altitude. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, explain to our viewers why training in Colorado is so important. It's very important, first of all, because Christy Craw is there, and she's a great technical coach, and she she's the one that I owe it to her for landing that quad. And and of course, the altitude in uh, in Colorado is very difficult. It's around six thousand feet, so uh, it's a big big change, and you get you have a hard time breathing, and it's a hard time doing the long programs. But when you come to competitions like here, you you have the total confidence of knowing you'll, you'll be fine at the end and you, you'll be a little bit out of breath but not exhausted. Yeah, you know, haven't run completely out of gas. Exactly. Um, I want to ask you too about your experience here coming from behind in the short program. That's right. I, I've seen a lot of skaters come from behind like Mao Asada having a bad short um, but in the end they, they come back in the long and I was able to do that today so I was honored to, to be able to do it here in Canada and at Skate Canada out of all places. Um, and to do it with the quad in the program was a big relief and I'm honored to, to be able to do that. And you know, that's a sign too, Patrick. I'm, I'm sure you've lived it a little bit, finding the courage to go back after you've been so disappointed. Mm -hmm. That's a sign of a real champion. It's, it's something you learn over time. Uh, it's, it's experience. And it was hard last night after the short to, to come back and go to bed and think about training for that long program the next day. And I, I just stuck to my guns and just thought about how I do do it in practice and I think that's something powerful to know that you're able to come back from a disappointing short and uh, the long program's a new day. A great point. Congratulations. We're all very proud of you. Thanks, Patrick Chan from Skate Canada International.